What up? And the droids with the two here, the power of Kazakhstan. And today I bring you a Battlefield 3. And I wanted to say Battlefield Bad Company 3. But you know, this game does not exist. It's Battlefield 3. So I got the early access code beta because I had Medal of Honor Limited Edition actually for both uh, uh, platforms. But I decided to play on Xbox because I don't know. Uh, I, I don't want to run up my PC and shit. So yeah, so I can. This is basically my honest review of Battlefield 3. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. Um, when I, when I came in into this game played like few minutes I despised this game to be honest with you I, I, I was like this game is so freaking shit this game sucks this game is bad and uh, before you you're gonna put dislike uh, actually after playing two or three games I kinda liked it uh, it became like more fun uh, I, I discovered that battlefield you have to play cover to cover which is more realistic and uh, the guns have a lot greater recoil than Treyarch Black Ops has a lot like two two three shots your gun is almost like all the way into the sky or something and that's why if you if you're pretty covered and you shoot with AK that I have right now uh, you pretty much gonna, gonna miss most of the time and yeah so that that's one thing that that kind of if you join the the beta and you kind of say oh this game sucks I don't want to play it anymore give it give it another chance play three or four games you're gonna love this game I'm serious you're gonna love this like look at the graphics like look at the gun look how detailed all this it like says oh play this game play me more bitch or something like that and I am actually so happy right now and I know it's gonna be like about 15 minute video but I don't give a damn because almost all the games in battlefield are about 15 minutes which kinda I know sucks but you know this is only like one game type and one map available right now it is a rush and I think it's called operation metro or something like that I don't know but it's in metros and uh, I wish they added at least two more maps or at least one more game type uh, but I would prefer two more maps than playing on one but at least uh, they gave it a chance to beta it but in, but I know it's not kind of feels like beta it feels more like demo uh, because it's f open beta but demo is when the game is already out and you demonstrate to those who haven't bought the game but beta is before the game has been released now let's talk about point out the good things and the bad things that I experienced in the game so I, I like to start with the bad things first because uh, I don't know. I, that's the type of person I am. I, uh, when I when I critique something, I start with the bad stuff, then say the good stuff. So one thing to fix is the glitch that you see right now, the laser stuck bullets. As you can see, uh, it got stuck, and it is really annoying because it f's me up a bit in the gameplay. You're gonna see it a bit later, I think. Oh no, it's not this game. But he left me up in the game because I couldn't see the guy. He shoot through this thing, and that is kind of annoying. And uh, yeah, so fix that thing. And uh, another thing to fix that I really despise is sometimes when I spawn, I get the freaking gray screen. I mean, what the heck is that? I don't get it. Uh, please fix that because I don't like it. Somebody explain why the freaking gray screen comes up. Like, you know, you see right now this is all colored, colorful and stuff. But once I spawned and the whole thing was like not black, but it was kind of grayish. And uh, explain to me that or fix that because I don't know it's kind of annoying. I can't see shit when I'm in this mode so I die instantly so it's basically a free death and I usually don't like getting free deaths or cheap deaths because it, it, I'm at an advantage it's like the thing that that is black or the gray screen whatever you want to call it it's like the same thing as the freaking uh, second chance of black ops it is annoying so fix that and uh, another thing to fix is uh, sometimes when I run or and stop uh, I cannot ADS uh, I tap LT LT I cannot ADS and I don't know what it is but also fix that and I know there's a lot of things that have to fix dice but it is actually good that's that's actually a point of beta uh, is for us to point out the bad stuff so that's um, some of the stuff that I noticed and another thing I, I kinda notice is uh, is hit detection. Uh, sometimes when I shoot, uh, even though I'm playing, I think I play on the good ping. 
uh, the thing gets like all over the place like I mean sometimes when I shoot uh, my bullets don't even register it doesn't do a hit marker or it doesn't hit the guy or it doesn't do something so kind of registration but I know it's the first day and uh, I remember in Black Ops on PC uh, the servers were uh, <laughs> really bad uh, like uh, it was lag all over the place even though I was playing like on 30 uh, pink or latency whatever you want to call it which is pretty okay and then it, it was laggy but not this game it's still good it's perfect almost perfect from the start but I want DICE to perfect it I just wanted to perfect it before the game releases or hits our stores and another thing I kinda don't like is uh, the sides have specific weapons but I know it's, uh, it's a special thing that Battlefield does but I don't know, it's just my opinion, I got used to uh, having uh, the my favorite gun I have, but I can live by it. My favorite gun is this one that you can see, I don't know why, but I, I would prefer this gun any time over M16. Uh, because it's just better in my opinion, I just love it, and I don't know, maybe I love it because I'm Kazakh, and Kazakh use Russian guns, and Russia and Kazakhstan are good friends. Yeah, whatever, that was kind of random but this is basically some things that I noticed that were bad in Bad Company or oh, Bad Company, Battlefield 3 I keep saying Bad Company, I keep thinking that this game is Bad Company but let's let's point out the good things one thing I kinda liked is uh, that the detail of the freaking game like look at the gun, you can even see the rust on it like the paint goes away from it uh, I like the lightning like for example when you run you see the shadow and stuff and uh, it just it, it looks so polished I like the graphics I mean like look at this it just looks so good like like the game is like so sexy I wanna like play it right now when I'm doing the commentary even though I finished playing like uh, two minutes ago or something like that the game just looks so good the graphically it's just good the guns are pretty balanced uh, like M4A1 and M16 pretty much feel the same but they have slightly different recoil and damage I don't see overpowered guns except snipers because uh, if they shoot you on range you're dead but that's how it is in real life because if somebody shoots you on range you pretty much guaranteed uh, how do you say uh, to kill with a sniper rifle and also I, I kinda love the realism in this game it is realistic enough that it is not annoying like you know some games that they are too realistic uh, I have few examples uh, it's Arma 2 probably, uh, Ar America's Army 3 or something like that and I think they're too realistic uh, that uh, not many people play them because they're too hard uh, because usually uh, whenever I wanna play a video game uh, I, I wanna just play for fun and uh, yeah the realism is not lacking and that's pretty much it for DICE and right now let's start the tips and tricks part so always when you start up use a medic class medic is your lifesaver I'm serious it's the best class that I, I ever used engineer uh, not so good because there's no vehicles right now so on beta you pretty much have to use the medic class uh, support is okay but uh, because you get the machine gun but one thing that is good about medic that you can heal yourself whenever you want and there is a automatic regen as you can see on my uh, bottom right you can see the 100% this is the health bar by the way and uh, with medic you can heal much faster but there is an automatic regen I think it takes about uh, 20 seconds to activate I don't know exactly but it does activate and uh, it is pretty good too but I would recommend using medic because it is the most balanced in my opinion and also you get the ACOG scope and in this game is just epic I mean you need an ACOG scope to snipe people well not to snipe people but to kill people that's what I mean and the uh, ACOG scope is pretty good in this game I love it and uh, yeah now another thing as I told before I think uh, use cover to your advantage if you if you're less spotted uh, behind the cover you pretty much guarantee you, you're gonna kill them use a head glitch head glitch gonna help you a lot head glitch is like your lifesaver in this game uh, why? Because this game, uh, the damage is really high or the health is really low, I don't know, uh, either one of these, but I expect it's damage. Oh, so if you're highly covered, uh, you pretty much guarantee that you're gonna kill them, 
and also try to surprise enemy uh, the camping strategy in the corner does not work uh, I actually tried it well not camping in a corner but like camping the doorway why because as you saw me uh, as I jump in I have about uh, 200 millisecond uh, advantage over that guy before he can react and start shooting or before he can aim and I, I already then honor him and I can kill him and that's why uh, you should always be a rusher in this game but don't rush too much be a smart rusher what I mean by this is use cover uh, using cover is really important in this game because if you don't use cover you, you pretty much gonna kinda suck and also help your team by spotting and this game is actually uh, not pretty heavy on spotting uh, because uh, it's more close quarters and that's another thing I, I like about this game uh, all other battlefields uh, they've been like more of the long range combat but this one is more focused on the close quarters and I think it's much better in my opinion uh, because uh, it feels to me it feels like more like Call of Duty uh, like I'm playing Call of Duty right now not Battlefield and I'm playing like between Medal of Honor Bad Company and uh, Modern Warfare 2 that's how I feel when I, when I play this game. Another tip that I can give is don't use shotguns in beta because mm, they're pretty underpowered and I know I got killed by one. But did you see the range? He got the hit marker. But I could have killed him but and I got screwed up by hit fire. Oh yeah, one thing I actually forgot to mention uh, b to that I really like in this game is the sound. Freaking Battlefield 3 feels like a war. I'm serious. It feels like a war. Uh, when, when I play it, there's like so much stuff going on, like the sounds are real, like everything's like almost realistic. And that's kind of, that one thing I kind of like it, is that feels like a war. And uh, that that is, I, I think, is pretty good accomplishment, because uh, if, if it does feel like a war, means they did something. And uh, the battlefield is just great. But one thing I, I don't like in console version is that it doesn't have 64 players and the maps are not too huge but they are pretty decent size but yeah, they're, they're somewhat huge in my opinion but that is no problem uh, I think there might be much smaller maps because that's the only one map that you can play so I don't have to complain uh, I haven't seen the whole game and uh, I will buy the whole game on uh, release day I try if I cannot, I'll try to buy on the weekend Friday. I think it's 28th uh, for the EU guys, or because I live in Europe, you know. And 25 for US. US guys, you got lucky. You have like three days uh, to play, and then us. Uh, but whatever. You know, I'm kind of jealous to be honest with you. But whatever. Who cares? So right now I have about one minute left, and what are you gonna expect from me in Battlefield series? You gonna expect a lot of videos if I am gonna enjoy Battlefield 3 if I'm not uh, then I don't know what I'm gonna do which I, re I highly doubt that I would not enjoy Battlefield 3 because it's a pretty good game actually I kinda love it uh, even even it's on beta stage and I think the full game is gonna be epic uh, I, th I, I don't think it's gonna fail like Medal of Honor because it, it kinda feels like 80% Medal of Honor 20% Black Company that's how I feel that's my opinion and uh, the bad company feels like uh, that is like rush mode and like uh, spawn, uh, spawn on your teammates Medal of Honor it feels more like a combat version and yeah so that was pretty much my tips and tricks and review how to start your battlefield game up or step it up and uh, dice I hope you, you can hear me which I highly doubt but I hope you can fix it and thanks for watching. The Droid 52 is turning off, and our team won. And final score was 20 and 9, which is pretty okay for one day because I'm still learning this game, you know. But, anyways, the Droid 52 is out, and I'm gonna love Battlefield 3. It's just, I think, the best Battlefield that is out there right now.